Goedemiddag, mijn naam is Steven van Leeuwen, student op Baltic Aviation Academy. Ik volg het geïntegreerde programma tot, tot verkeersvlieger. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Stefan Vleeuw. I'm from the Netherlands and uh, I'm student at Baltic Aviation Academy of the integrated program to become an airline pilot. So, um, my motivation to why I got here. Um, years ago, I, had, I was flying to, on holiday to um, Venezuela on a Boeing 767. Uh, I got the opportunity there to um, get in the cockpit to have a view. At that time it was sort of allowed. And at that point I fell in love with airplanes. Um, but afterwards, after my school, I was actually very addicted to golf. And I had a great time and I had the opportunity to um, become a golf teacher. So I became a golf teacher. I've done that for seven years and then at a the point I realized that golf teaching is something I really like but not I want to do my whole life. So and then I had the point that I realized that the thing I wanted to do was flying. Uh, so I got a lot of information on the internet on different forums. One from the Netherlands uh, which is called Airwork. The other one is Peeprune well known under people uh, in aviation uh, and there I got information and via this forum I had the opportunity uh, to meet people. Uh, I met a guy from the Netherlands and he was in contact with uh, Baltic Aviation Academy and so he was very positive about it. I visited, I was very positive about it and then at that point I realized to become a pilot because pilot is something you know the machines, working with the machines like, like these, but also later in my future, like the bigger ones and like this whole technique, uh, it's just beautiful and that's why I want to become a pilot. What was uh, actually my most memorable moment? Um, in whole flight training, I did about now 180 hours. But the thing I will never forget, that's the most beautiful moment, that's the moment that you go solo. I did my check flight with my instructor and he was checking if I was ready for my uh, solo flight. And um, he said it was alright, so we parked here, he jumped out and I went for my solo flight. And that's a feeling, you're sitting alone, having no one talking to you, just you and the plane. And that was an amazing feeling and that's something as if you start flying that's the most beautiful moment in your career or hobby. Uh, what you will never forget. And afterwards then we have this tradition of course that you know kicking ass that's the tradition here as a newbie pilot, future pilot. So but that's something I will never forget. That was the, if I think about it I still get goosebumps so that's something Beautiful. That was the most beautiful moment of the training till now. What a hat. Flying, you know, of course you have it or you have not that much talent, but you work on it. But the thing is, the most hard thing what I've experienced in this training, HPL exams. As I told a moment ago, that's working hard on like 14 subjects, uh, getting the knowledge, which is of course very important uh, for your future career. But the exams, there was some, uh, some, yeah, not so nice time, but you know, if you work hard, then you get through it. Though if I didn't get something, I just asked the instructor and uh, asked how it was, how a particular topic works, he explained, and that's the way how I got through this, uh, through this exam, uh, yeah, this CA exams. And um, but that's definitely, absolutely the hardest point of the of the training because you know the thing is, if you want to become a pilot, you just want to fly. 
And of course you need knowledge to understand what you're doing, but like some things, in especially the ATPL exams, you learn things sometimes that you think, okay, is it something I really gonna use sometimes? But you know, everything you're gonna use sometimes, but it was at that time, it was just really hard, you know, to remember and to understand, so. But after working hard, you will get there and then you'll finish with, with your ATPL exams. But that's the challenge and I love challenges. When I came here uh, at this school, I knew that I will be like, you know, uh, from another country than other people. And when I came here, my, my you know, other students in my class are from Tajikistan, uh, Russia, La uh, Lithuania, and now the new students are from more countries than that, Kazakhstan, Italy. And actually I have to say that it's really nice to you know, get in touch with, with other cultures. And um, so I, you know, when you're studying yeah, and you have some breaks and of course then it's nice to just get in touch with the cultures of you know other students so you learn some words from other students from their language and uh, and you learn how you know just how the way they think and how you know you, how they live and actually that's a really nice time besides that um, you know the whole experience together you working you start to learn more working as a team and that's also the thing which is really nice here uh, is that you just it's not just sitting all day inside you just go with you guys you're gonna fly after that you're released for f uh, solo flying uh, especially en route uh, sometimes you just fly together and the thing that's just beautiful because if you fly together you just enjoy the countryside you just look outside you have a great time and that's you know you see the sun every day if you fly and that's that's just beautiful and it's a great experience what I have you know till now experience till now uh, well I've been as I mentioned earlier I've been flying 100 hours on the Technom P2002 very nice plane light easy uh, then I finished my exams, 14 exams. Uh, I'm very happy that I passed them all in first attempt, so that was really good and nice. Uh, and then um, I will start flying with, uh, with this one, instrument rate. And actually I just finished with, uh, with this one, so the next step will be waiting for now. So we get ready to uh, start our training for uh, the multi-engine, which will be done on the Technom P2006. And after the flying multi-engine, I will gonna have my skill test for a CPL commercial, pilot license, uh, instrument rate, and multi-engine. After that, I will have my uh, last part of the training, which will be uh, multi-crew cooperation, the MCC course. And after that, that will be in about, from now on, not a long time, maybe two months, and then I will graduate for my uh, frozen ATPL. And then um, searching for a job, and then uh, hopefully start a beautiful career as an airline pilot. <laughs>